The highly anticipated solar eclipse happens tomorrow. It will make landfall along Mexico's Pacific coast, crossing into Texas and 14 other U.S. states, including southern Illinois. In Chicago, we will still see a partial eclipse. The sun about 94% covered at its maximum coverage, but someone we do know well in southern Illinois and what there is expected is. to be the <laughs> Totality, yet again, Tom, how did you draw the short straw on this? I thought you graduated from having to be here. Yeah, you know what? This retirement thing was doing great until they called me back to work again. For <laughs> He's but got his feet up, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was a short retirement. It's, it's over for a couple of days anyway. Hey, I'm down here with our crew, and have we we had a sausage and pepper dinner last night. Ooh. We're taking your, you, we're expecting you guys down here. We have three chairs offset here for you, and uh, we have a dinner planned tonight. Uh, Chef Steve Shore and Mike D'Angelo will be uh, <laughs> cooking it on the grill over here. Guys, we're at a campground. We're 300 miles south of Chicago, a five-hour drive. We passed all kinds of RVs headed this way. More than a million people have flooded into this area. Uh, to see uh, the what will be a celestial extravaganza tomorrow, weather permitting. And you can see we've got blue skies right now. But I'll tell you, a little town of 600, not far from here, Macanda, Illinois, is significant because it's the point at which the path of totality on the 2017 eclipse seven years ago in the same area and tomorrow's path of totality cross, something that only happens once every 375 years. And boy, is this the spirit there festive in this little beautiful town. Uh, take a listen. Well, there it is, Macanda, Illinois. Uh, and you know something, we found out every campground, every hotel room in this area has been taken. We ran into a couple from Crystal Lake, Illinois, who now live in Montana. They were here for the 2017 eclipse, and they said they wouldn't miss this one. They have driven from Montana all the way down here. Wow. And uh, here's what they had to say, a husband-wife couple, really nice. Here they are. Wyoming was, I mean, it was a lot of people and expecting it here. It's gonna be in a different setting being on the college campus and um, uh, walking distance. And so what I remember the most was we camped 10 miles from where we watched the eclipse and it was a, um, six hour drive to go 10 miles. So we're not driving, we're walking this year. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you something, the traffic is going to be something. Mm -hmm. We noticed on the way down, they said there's road construction that they put off until the 10th, two days beyond the eclipse tomorrow. And they no doubt know there's going to be quite a, quite a, uh, a crowd on the roads around here. This is a, an event, a celestial event, uh, which will be uh, just amazing. It affects you at so many levels. I broke down during the last eclipse. I didn't expect to react that way. This is a sensory extravaganza. Uh, you know, Michelle Nichols from Adler Planetarium is down here, and she told Catherine Zink, our producer, she advised people down here that are looking at the eclipse, don't be busy taking pictures. Right. There'll be marvelous pictures from all over the place. Take it all in. The shadows change, the colors change, the wildlife reacts to the onset of night in the middle of the day. Yeah. The eclipse will start around 12.50 in the afternoon tomorrow. We're going to be on the air from 1 until 2.30. We have Demetrius Ivory out in Cleveland. Uh, we have Mike Lowe who will be based in Chicago following the eclipse there. And we have uh, Mike Jansen uh, nearby in Carbondale, Illinois. And we'll be down here at the campground. And uh, it'll be near totality about 2 o'clock. But what happens at that moment just affects you. And it's a life-altering event when you go through this. You never expect to react the way you do uh, to it. Uh, you really realize we're tiny specks in this universe, and we don't amount to much when you look at the universe as a whole, and you see that on display as day turns to night in a matter of five minutes as you approach totality, which will be around 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So, guys, we're going to be on scene covering all this with our crew. I've got... Eric Art here, Mike D'Angelo is here, Catherine Zink, our producer extraordinaire, and Steve Shore is running the camera that, through which you're watching this now. Um, they're a lot of fun to be with, by the way. And we're in two RVs here, sleeping.
That's this great. This campground <laughs> is crammed, and it's amazing. Do you know that some of the hotel rooms down here go for seven hundred and fifty dollars? These are little modest hotel rooms. Wow. You can't get, find them anymore. So if you're not down here, don't bother coming. There's no way to stay unless you got <laughs> we, an RV. We can't row, bunk up in the WGN RV. Come on. There are no parking signs. I know. I, I tell you, but by the way, guys, we do have expect you down here. So you get your vehicles right after the morning show. Yeah. Take the five-hour trip. You got to be careful, with Joyce. Though he's he's trouble on these uh, long trips. Yeah, that is but, true. Um, you know, you know what he said. Anyway. If you're not near totality, just don't worry about it because it's not the same effect. Right. That's what right. he said earlier. Yeah, that's a skeptical <laughs> for sure. Well, you know what, guys? We're watching the weather carefully. The latest model forecast: 31% cloud coverage. Yeah. We're keeping our fingers crossed. You know, because the it'll be four minutes of yeah. totality. We had two minutes in the 2017 eclipse and 60% uh, more people will see this eclipse than saw the last one. Major League Baseball teams have NASA reps throwing out the first pitch wow. in stadiums that are in the path of totality. The Indianapolis Speedway is hosting an eclipse event. Krispy Kreme Donuts has their own <laughs> solar eclipse donut. NASDAQ in New York tomorrow will run the eclipse on the big screen in Times Square and even the Girl Scouts have had educational efforts going across the country. So there's wide interest in this event, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool that a scientific event, a scientifically oriented event, has this level of interest in it. All right. Well, you, but you, you guys will be with us. We appreciate you coming back for it, Tom. And uh, you take care of the crew for us, too. They're very important to all of us, and so are you. Uh, thank you, Sean. You Thanks. <laughs> uh, what a great crew. We're having oh, a lot yeah. of fun, and we're... You know, you got to watch Steve Shure. Keep it. He yeah, can be trouble. But, um, he's been <laughs> you have the all out of trouble. Tom. You have very the all star well crew, though, Tommy. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. All right, you can join exactly. us live for special see coverage of the eclipse. See you, Tommy. Our coverage begins just after the WGN midday news at one o'clock. You can watch this live on WGN TV, WGN Plus, and at WGNTV.com/live. And if we can have the